honors chemistry and welcome to a 13.5 mass percent. So this is one of the ways to discuss the concentration of a solution, right? Um, it gives us the ability to talk about things that are dilute and things that are concentrated. And in normal everyday life, this these are the units we're most likely to encounter, right? So the concept of um, something being like, so for example, vinegar at the store is 5% acetic acid, right? Or um, like in the outline, some of the examples, um, parts per million and parts per billion, right? That's how the EPA, for example, lists the acceptable levels of um, certain compounds or elements or whatever in drinking water, right? What is the safe level? You know, 10 parts per million or parts per billion, right? So these units in 13.5, while they're not necessarily the most common ones to use in chemistry, right? are among the most common that you'll use in the everyday world, okay? So mass percent, right, the most common way to report this is the mass of solute over the mass of the total, right? So this would be mass total, which would be the solute mass plus the mass of the solvent, right? However much was used there, right? And do be mindful here, right, um, that that is the total mass, always gonna be the total mass. And since our solvents are typically water, and you know that the density of water is one gram per milliliter, right? Even if we use volumes, right, you should be able to get that to a mass so that way you can come up with the total mass, right? Um, so anyway, uh, mass percent, mass of solute over the total mass. And so very easy to calculate. Um, yeah, it's very simple. Mass, is, mass percent is not always how it's given, right? Sometimes it can be a percent by volume, sometimes it can be other things, right? But the concept remains the same. Um, all right, so let's move on and do some practice. And then obviously this is a conversion factor and we can use it to do that also. So calculate the mass percent of a sucrose solution containing this many grams of sucrose and that many mils of water. So what do we do? Right, we just do the formula, right? So it's gonna be solute, right? So this is our solute of our sucrose over the total mass, right? So we're gonna take our 11.3 grams of sucrose plus our 412.1 grams of water, and that's gonna be our total, yes, right? And that's going to, oh, times 100. And that's gonna give us our percent by mass, yes? All right. And then it goes on to ask us how much sucrose in grams is contained in 355 mils of the soft drink that it refers to in a previous question, that's 11.5% sucrose, right? And so here it goes back to like when we first introduced the concept of density, where you are best served if you write down what a conversion means. So when I say that a solution is 11.5% sucrose, what I mean is that there are 11.5 grams of sucrose equal to, right, again, right, 100 grams of our solution, yes, right? So writing that down then makes it crystal clear. Ah, this converts between mass of sucrose and mass of solution. And then how much sucrose in grams is contained in this many mils of the soft drink, right? Um, and I do believe the question goes on to tell you that you can assume that the soft drink has the density of water, right? Um, so then we would take our 355 milliliters of solution, because soft drink is the solution, right? Where we have the solute and solvent mixed together. And then we would go from mils of solution to grams of solution. And then we would then insert this, which says that for every 100 grams of solution, right, there are 11 and a half grams of sucrose, right? And then my grams of solution cancel, volume of solution cancels, and I have now calculated how many grams of sucrose are contained in that amount of my soft drink. Yes. All right. Um, and for most dilute solutions, it is true that the density stays about that of water, right? Um, if it strays from water, right, if it is so concentrated that the density changes, right, um, a problem will alert you to that because, again, the only density you have to know is the density of water. All right. Thank you for listening. Be good, and I will see you soon. Bye.